What is up? First time back, baby, since having the baby. <laughs> I said baby twice. Two different meanings. Anyway, um, <sighs> I've missed you guys in this format. I freaking love vlogging. Um, anyway, a lot has happened today. Today, I'm wearing like a dress, Amazon, y'all. Love it. Love it. I learned about it from Megan here on YouTube. I'll link her channel. Um, it was on her Instagram. Anyway, doesn't matter. But she always like, man, she always gets me the stuff she talks about. But I'll link the dress. I don't know. I'm not even like used to vlogging. What am I even talking about? Oh, we had our newborn photo shoot today and we actually did a package where we like all were in the photos too. Um, so I'm excited to get those back, but it was one of those days, like I don't like having my photo taken. So it just makes me anxious and it stresses me out. And I was trying to make sure like everyone, we all have what we needed. And like Genevieve was like, I did her hair and she wanted it curled for like the first time ever, but then her hair does not hold a curl. It's kind of like mine where you have to like work extra hard to get it to stay. And then it was raining and then I'm anyway, everything went really well in the end and the photographer was a freaking pro. So that was really nice. And once we got there, like that just like eased everything. So excited to have that done. Very excited in a few weeks to like see the photos. But um, I just got something in the mail I wanna show you guys. So I got these, oh, we got a baby. <laughs> She's been asleep a while. Figured she was gonna get hungry soon. Anyway, got this spice jar set. These were overpriced, you guys. But I told Tyler, I was like, I have been wanting to do this kind of a project for so long get all of our spices into matching jars. These labels are from Etsy. I totally bought this set of things based on Miss Liz Hart, who also has a YouTube channel, a link, because it looked so pretty when she did it. So we're not gonna do that right now, because I need to feed this girl, but we are gonna do that here in this vlog, and it's gonna be so satisfying. All right, so it's a different day, and I'm cleaning out our fridge, because look how gross. You know when something spills and you don't clean it up right away and then days pass and then weeks pass and you're like, this is disgusting. So I just pulled everything out. I'm gonna work on these two, but, and we are just gonna clean this all up and it's gonna be such a good feeling. Oh my gosh. There's nothing better than having a clean fridge. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the updated fridge in a sec. But uh, our friends got us this, it's a small world game. No, well, they got it for okay. Genevieve and it is actually really cool and really fun. It's simple. It's like four and up, which is perfect, but it's, it's cute, man. Yeah. It's like really nice. And where's the box? Yeah. The box is like, Tyler was mentioning, he was like, it's actually like a pretty game. <laughs> like that. That's the box. And then on the inside, they got the little. Oh, it's so in. cute. I love it. Now it's time to turn it. Time to turn it. The clock tower. I don't think it is, but. Playing by <laughs> to the rules right now. Okay. Well, ignore our leftovers because we had friends over and grilled out and we didn't really properly put them away. So, fridge is cleaned out, you guys. Oh my gosh. Like, literally, there was that stain, if you recall. It was so gross. Tyler had to pop this, like, glass thing out so we could really clean it. But we took all the drawers out and cleaned them. It just, oh my gosh, you guys. I wish you could feel the relief that I feel. <laughs> it is amazing. But it is reminding me we need to go to the grocery store for a few things. Like, we still give Gigi <laughs> these packets, which are amazing because they have typically, yeah, have some veggies in them because she is not a veggie kind of gal. But anyway, we need to get some more of those and stuff. But also from Easter, my mom gave us the ham bone. Was that Easter? Yeah, yeah. Um, so Tyler wants to make some ham and bean soup with that. But oh, this is an awesome feeling. I know it's not Pinteresty cute, but boy, is it clean, you guys. <laughs> so also just got an Amazon box in with these passies. These have become Little Miss Felicity's favorite. We had the original like circle ones. Uh, you know the kind, the like Phillips Avent soothy ones that like the hospital has too. Uh, and long story short, she liked them, but she just could not keep them in her mouth. And so these, the second I gave her one, she was like, yep. And she keeps it in her mouth so well, like through the night when she's not hungry, she just wants to be sucking on something. Oh my gosh. So literally the second I knew she loved them, like done. And I placed an Amazon order for more. Cause you know, you're always like searching for these. And then I also got this. I have the other one. It's called the Always Naked or something like that. Um, and so I saw they had the Always Blushing. It looks really pretty. I can only find these on Amazon. I think one of you guys said you saw them at Walmart. 
So just FYI, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited to have another one of them because the quality of the other one was really good. Also, I have so much spit in my mouth, sorry. This is the way I'm looking right now. It is the weekend. <laughs> so in PJs, these are Target PJs, which are the bomb. They're so comfy, you guys, and they're like pants. What was I gonna say? <laughs> That's how I'm feeling today. I don't know, I need some more coffee. Um, we need to go do a quick grocery run today. Um, I wanted to, this is just one of those, I think awesome weekend days where you're getting a lot done. Like we need to get laundry done. It's already running. I can hear it upstairs and that's a good feeling. Um, and like I said, getting groceries together, straightening up. It's a good day. Like I said, I love, like if my ideal weekend would be the, it, honey, it's down here. We told her she could play on her iPad for 20 minutes while we get stuff done. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? This is how this whole vlog is going to be, y'all. I can't think straight. Um, oh, I was saying, my ideal weekend is, okay, with the two days, one of the days, you do something fun. Like like I said, we had friends come over last night. It was a beautiful day. We, we um, grilled out. We had some s'mores around our little bonfire. It was so lovely. And then we have the other weekend day to get cleaning done, have family time. Like, we played that game with her this morning. It was so fun. That kind of thing. So this has been my ideal weekend. I don't know about y'all. And also the weather's been crazy nice, which is like amazing. But anyway, I need to like make myself look more put together. Mostly get real close. Okay, I'm at Target. This is always what I'm talking about. And I thought it was always in the travel section, but they just have it like in the lotion section, you know, with all the other Aquaphor stuff. So these are the bomb. They're tiny. It's the true regular Aquaphor formula. And I use this on my lips for lip balm all the time. Awesome. Uh, okay, this is pretty cute, right? I love the new like little shoulder bag trend and I need something separate from my diaper bag right now to have like my keys, phone, wallet. Cause I don't like putting all my stuff in there. I don't know why, but it always bothers me. Anyway, how cute is this? I love the like rosy pink color too. We're getting a lot of produce cause we're trying to get back into healthy eating. Cause those first few weeks after having the baby, we obviously just ate whatever we wanted. <laughs> and now we're like, all right, we need to get back to like eating some healthy some healthy stuff. What's up? So I'm at the workspace and so is Miss Felicity and Tyler. And this is like the start of, it's a Monday. And I feel like this is like the first real week of work, putting it in quotes, but really first real week of work we're taking. Does that make sense? What am I even saying, you guys? I also woke up with like a stuffy nose. I'm like fun. Miss Gigi has a cold, so I'm certain that's where I got it. But anyway, uh, any, it's just awesome to be back here and filming. This is only the second one I'm filming, second video I'm filming since kind of coming back to work, if you will. And I'm gonna tell my birth story. And I'm trying to decide if I want to get ready while doing this, like do a get ready with me style and tell the birth story or already be ready and just tell the birth story. I am I have to get ready anyway. <laughs> So that's why I'm like, well, I might as well be doing it while on camera. And that's kind of where I'm leaning. So I don't know. I never can tell. I feel like every time I put a poll up and ask you guys which you prefer, it's always get ready with me style. So I'm like, do I even need to poll you guys? <laughs> I guess that that's really what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, I'm just excited. So I actually, here, let me show you. I, before we went and had her, took all the makeup out of this container that I keep here and took it all home. And I still have not taken that makeup and put it back into my collection. But what I need to do is go through my collection at home and bring stuff back. I wanted to switch it out, I guess was the point. So right now I'm just bringing makeup in a makeup bag, things I'm playing with, things I'm loving. So that is gonna happen. I also have some stuff in my book bag here. I just kind of tossed in more makeup that I recently got. So we'll see what I use today, but yeah, trying to make that decision. And uh, I've got some coffee. You already know. Mm. Also, this freaking like zip up hoodie, Amazon. And I freaking love how bright this is. And it's comfy. It's oversized enough, but not so oversized. Big fan. Big fan. Also, if you're like nursing, it's nice to just be able to go zoop. And then I just have like a super stretchy cami underneath. I can whip things out as I need. But uh, I feel like I have never appreciated a zip up hoodie until now. Tis the season to have allergies. <laughs> All right, I'm in the middle. I just got out of the shower and blow dry my hair, so I'm about to curl it. 
But uh, we had a doctor's appointment for Miss Felicity Rose, and today, obviously today, this morning, and it went really well, and she's looking good, her weight is good, which is something I was concerned about, so I'm, I'm very thankful for that. So I still have a cold, I don't remember if I told you that, and I also um, have allergies, as I showed you, so mix those two together, and it's super fun. Anyway, uh, but I uh, that new purse I got at Target that I showed you earlier in the vlog, I started using, but I just kind of threw some stuff in there quickly, but I have like two other purses I was toggling between because I'll, I get tired of purses. So I'll pull old ones out, reuse them and kind of switch it up, which is what I'd been doing. But uh, Tyler, I had three purses downstairs hanging on her hook and Tyler was like, can you like, are you using all these? Can you consolidate? Because <laughs> the door would keep hitting them and bounce back. And anyway, I was like, yes. So that is on the docket. I figured I would take you guys along with that and go through my purses, empty all of them out, reorganize, etc. So that's what we're going to do. And I also need to film another video here today, not for the vlog, but like separate videos. So we're going to see if I can get all that done with her. We'll see. So something else, I've had my T3 curling wand for a while now, and I love it. And it's one of the few curling irons that actually my curls will stay for multiple days. And I've literally never found another curling wand to do that. So to me, it's worth the price, but it came with the one I got anyway, came with other wands, which is really cool. Um, this is the one I'd had on it forever and it makes really good curls, but sometimes they're tighter curls than I want. And I literally had forgotten I had this other one until this morning. Literally, I was like, wait a minute. And I grabbed it. I'm like, this is going to be perfect. And I feel like when I first got this, that's what I used. But like I said, I'd just forgotten I'd gotten used to using this one. But I'm excited to use this because I just want some like looser, beachier waves, you know? This is the, what I mean. Isn't that lovely? That's lovely. Like, honestly, that's what I want for my hair most days. Dang. I'm so glad I remembered I had this. All right, I haven't hairsprayed it yet, but yeah, this is exactly what I like, man. <laughs> All right. Also, I put this in my hair and I bought it back when I did that Vogue video um, copying Olivia Rodrigo's makeup look and she did a little bit of her hair and she used this. It's a pretty popular product. It's expensive, so I got the smaller version and I honestly forget I have it. So I put this in my wet hair and... I think that's why my hair right now is super soft. So gonna keep using this. I'll have to report back, but I my hair feels really soft, you guys. Like I feel like you can kind of see. And of course I avoided, since it is an oil, I avoided putting it anywhere from like here up, but just ran my hair, my hands through my hair um, when it was wet. And yeah, I'm really digging it, man. I don't even feel like I really need hairspray. So I'm feeding her right now, but I just started watching the documentary about Nickelodeon. So interesting. It's called The Orange Years, The Nickelodeon Story. And I don't know, I think it's on Hulu. Um, it's super interesting, especially if you're around my age, I'm 33, um, because it taught, it, it, you just need to see it. It's so interesting and I'm only like 30 minutes into it, but yeah, uh, highly recommend, <laughs> highly, highly recommend. Hi, little Miss Felicity. Hi, honey. Hi, baby girl. So something we've been doing lately is putting, sorry, I have swatches from the video I'm filming, putting leftover coffee from our coffee pot in the morning in literally just putting it in a glass and just sticking it in the fridge. So then the next day we have basically cold brew. I mean, it's, I think kind of different, but you know what I mean? Just cold coffee. And then I just threw half and half in here and I'm enjoying it this afternoon. And it's just been one of those things that otherwise, you know, however much coffee we have left, it varies every day, but we would just dump it down the drain otherwise, you know? So this has been oh, awesome. Okay, um, I just got done filming. Well, it's still a mess over there, but filming another video. Um, so this is the purse I got, and I really genuinely love it. It's so like, makes me think of a purse my mom carried in the 90s. I can't explain it other than that, not the pink, but like the shape, but it's super comfy. It's super soft and it's really simple. So I, like I said, I've thrown my essentials in here. I don't think what's in here is going to change very much, but I need to go through and see what is still in this bag. I think I got most of it out. Like that's trash, sucker, bobby pins. That sounds about right. I always have bribery candy in here. <laughs> not above it. Um, some masks some gum, some band-aids, 
more bribery candy. <laughs> If you're a parent, you know, you know. Now this one's empty. This I'm keeping, I keep a lot of my purses because like I said, I like to switch it up. So I'm going to keep this back in my closet because undoubtedly I'll want to use that again. This is one of my favorite bags. I use this one all of the time. It's from Madewell. Um, you can find dupes for this that are cheaper, but this is made very well. <laughs> and it's so simple. It's just open and then it's got this side pocket. And the reason I pulled this back out is this is what I was using to and from like doctor's appointments that were longer towards the end of the pregnancy. Um, Cause I'd bring like my Kindle or my iPad so I could kill time on it and it wouldn't fit like in my other purse. This girl is just fighting. She's just fighting a nap, you guys. I keep getting her to sleep. I'm like, perfect. And then I like lay her down and she's awake. <laughs> like, well, she's so cute. I can't even get mad at her. She might be a part of this video. Okay, all right. All right, so the other thing I had in my big bag here was this bag I bought really on a whim from Persona Cosmetics of all brands, and it's this makeup bag, and I liked the way it looked, but when I got it, it was way smaller than I thought, and so, um, but it is really cute. I like the, like the pink corduroy, and to be honest, I'm constantly surprised at how much I can fit in here, so I have like some feminine products, some Tums and Tic Tacs. Uh, this thing, y'all, when I say this is the most important thing you can have in your purse if you have a kid, I'm constantly amazed at how much I can fit in here. So it actually, yeah, I have some mints, some hair ties, but I don't think this bag, more bobby pins, is going to fit in my smaller bag. Like it would, but it would take up like a lot of it. And really a lot of the things that are in here, I don't have to have with me at all times and or I can put in my diaper bag because I wanted a smaller purse so that I can still carry this and carry the diaper bag and not feel like I have two giant bags because there are times that I leave the house without the diaper bag and without the baby and it's nice to already have my purse ready to go because I was constantly taking my keys and my wallet and switching them back and forth. I'm like, this is silly. I can just still have a purse anyway. That's another argument for another day. But uh, yeah, so I think I'm just going to put this in my travel stuff for now. And then I have it if I want to use it in the future. But the other things, I have a lip liner in here from Laura Mercier. This is the Plumberry lip liner. And then some... Oh, there's my glasses. My Warby Parker glasses. I have more than one. The sun keeps coming in and out. And it's so lovely when it's out, man. Anyway, I have been wondering where these are. I have more than one pair because I love them. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then I also have my favorite Amazon sunglasses. These are the ones I've talked about in favorites videos. I love these so freaking much. They're like 15 bucks ish. Uh, so yeah, sunglasses will go in there. And then I also have my, I need to unclip this. I have my lip balm. Nope. Hand sanitizer, not even close to the same thing, Jess. And how did I get this on here in the first place? Obviously a must. However, I do have that in my diaper bag. So I'm like, do I really need? But I do like this holder. It's a little Disney one I got on Etsy. How cute. Come here, baby. We're in a toga with your swaddle blanket. Mommy didn't swaddle you very well, did I? <laughs> All right, and then another lip liner. Oh, there it is. My Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. I, I knew I, I mean, this is like a very new purchase, but I brought it with me the other day and I was like, where the heck did that go? Here it is, a pen, which I do think is necessary. My headphones, I was wondering where those were. Some chocolate, that chocolate was probably for me. <laughs> um, and then I just have like a whole bunch of coupons and things like that. So, oh, actually really important tissues. And that is something nice to have. But again, I typically have this in my diaper bag. So I'm like, do I really have to have it in my purse? Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. So really out of this stuff, the things that I keep in here, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So I've already kind of packed this the way I want it and I might take a few of these things. In here, I have my wallet. This is a Kate Spade one I've had for a very long time. And honestly, it's the perfect size. It holds everything I need. It has room for coins. I usually just have like an Aldi quarter in there, you know, uh, but it's got room for everything I need. I've tried to go smaller and it's too small. I've had bigger and they're too big. This is the perfect size for me. So that's going to be in there. I have my keys. 
Aquaphor always in there. It's the lip balm I use every day. I use it on my daughter too, so it's nice. It also can double as diaper cream, but anyway, I always have one in there. I also have, and this is something I'm like, I don't know that I have to have this in here because I don't reach for it so much, but it's my little thing of pills. So I've got like Tylenol in there, Aleve, things like that, that we need from time to time. My husband will ask for when we're out and about. That's why I have it in there, but I'm like, eh, it kind of takes up some precious room. So we'll see if that stays. I also have some gum, which I do like to have on hand. It's funny because I had Invisalign a while ago. Oh, I never finished. Okay, let me finish the story and then I'll tell you about what this is. Because I had Invisalign from like 2020. Yeah, from 20. When the heck did I get Invisalign? I think it was the end of 2019. And then through 2020, I stopped chewing gum because you just couldn't. I had to have those in. And so I'd gotten so out of the habit. And so now which is probably not the worst thing to be out of the habit, but now I'm like, oh yeah, I can chew gum again, so it's nice to have. <laughs> anyway, this, these come in multi-packs on Amazon. I need to do an updated Amazon favorites. These have been a favorite for years, so basically you can set it on, like if we're at a restaurant and Genevieve is like, she's already eaten, our rule of thumb is at a restaurant, I want her to know how to be at a restaurant and wait for your food and you can color and stuff and then eat your food and after she's eaten her food, then... She can watch something like on our phone so that we can have like adult conversations, not adult, but you know what I mean. Um, and it's, it's kind of worked out well because then she knows like she's learning how to be in a restaurant, but then also like, she's still like four. It's well, no, she's not even four yet. Just slow down, but she's still three. It's nice to be like, all right, now you're occupied for like 20 minutes while we can just enjoy each other's company. Why did I over explain that so much? I know most of you guys understand. Anyway, this will hold your phone on it. So you stick it and it's kind of got a suction on the back of your phone and then it'll hold it upright so that she can watch it. It is amazing. Uh, yeah, I just swear by these and they're so cheap and they take up no room in your purse. And so I just always have it in there. That way, if on a whim we're somewhere, I'm like, I got the little, it's like a little piggy butt or something. So that lives in there, but I like this purse too, because it's got, um, just the main compartment and then a zipper pocket and then it has this side pocket that's like the perfect size for a phone so i can always just slide it in there you know so a hair tie is going to go in there because i know i need that so i'll probably put a hair tie the little piggy and the gum in the zipper pocket i will probably throw a lip gloss in there because that's obviously nice to have and then my sunglasses can go in there because that i just always have when I'm out and about, I think I might go ahead and put the pen in here too in the zipper pocket because it's just, don't you feel like you always end up needing a pen and you never have one? So I like to just have one in there. Oh, baby. Uh, I'll probably, I have like coupons that I use. You guys know my favorite store is Meyer, and that's where we do most of our grocery shopping. Although we've been going all, to Aldi a lot lately and that's been great too because I mean, we do save a lot of money when we go. I just feel like every time we go to Aldi, we can't get everything we need. So then we have to make a second trip and that time right now is precious. Like literally we don't have all the time in the world with a newborn. So it's, it's just nice to be able to go to Meyer and get it all done. But anyway, uh, but they always give killer coupons. So I always have coupons in the side pocket of whatever purse because I freaking use them, man. So... And then I also have like our church envelope things. So I'll probably put those in there just for the next like week or two. So I don't have to think about it. This is nice. I feel like my purse, I still have, I can zip it. It's not crazy overfilled. Uh, like I said, I'll probably throw a lip gloss in here just to have, but sometimes the only other makeup thing I'll like bring with me is um, other than like a lip product is powder, like a powder foundation that has a mirror because A, I can use the mirror. But B, like, I love the Makeup Forever powder foundation that I just got because it does, even though I wish the packaging were smaller, at the same time, the little powder puff that comes with it is really great for touch-ups on the go. So that might end up in my purse because I, I really do love that. Anyway, so yeah, I hope this was fun. Just kind of peeking into what I keep in my purse, my new little Target bag I'll link below. I don't know if they have this in other colors. I haven't looked. Um, cause I feel like this would be cute in black too, or like a camel color. I just thought the pink for like spring is just kind of fun and it's my favorite color. <sighs> so yeah, here in a minute, Tyler will be home with Genevieve. He is, uh, picking her up from preschool and then I'm wanting to go on a walk cause it's so sunny and beautiful out right now. Like I said, it's been in and out, but it's not too hot either. It's like a really nice spring day. It's like 60 degrees, which I think is perfect. And I know Mr. Pinocchio, our beagle, could definitely stand to go on a 
W-A-L-K. Not going to say it because he'll freak out. And also, if you have any dogs, they might freak out if they hear the word too. I need to end this vlog, you guys. <laughs> this vlog could go on and on and on. But I'm like, honestly, I'm at the point where I can just start a new one. So I'm going to end this one here. I know I didn't get to doing the spice drawers. I literally keep forgetting and we just have not had the time to do that project. So um, that is in the future. When I do it, I will vlog it. It's currently just sitting in my kitchen, like the boxes of the spice uh, containers and everything. And I hate when boxes just sit somewhere. So that will be done soon. So I promise to vlog it in a future vlog. Perhaps the next one we'll see. But I hope this was enjoyable for you guys. I certainly have enjoyed getting back to vlogging. Um, and yeah, I hope you subscribe. What was I saying? Oh, I'll link the playlist of my vlogs if you want to watch some more of them in case you've been watching them. You might have missed one somewhere in there. Um, and I hope you subscribe, of course, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.